Hey guys, it's Dr. Curvy here and we're back with another video. There is no intro because I just want to get into this topic. We need to talk about this Zaya and Rakan recall drama-rama. Now this is... I hope this is going to be a short video because I don't want to rant too long, but... This... the drama is so... Right, it's just lazy. Um, let's get into it first. Um, so... Uh, I'm going to be using uh, the video by uh, Maddie Loves Gaming as a reference for the screenshots. Um, they're all from Reddit originally, but <clears throat> I'm too lazy to find original screenshots. So we're just going to use snippets from Maddie Loves Gaming's video. Um, so yeah. So we got a lot of um, issues on Reddit like, hey guys, where's the new Doer recall? I hope you guys didn't forget it. And then we see like uh, more comments like, right, stop being inconsiderate for couples who want to enjoy their dual recall feature. <clears throat> I mean, reasonable, right? And then we see some news articles saying League of Legends players upset by Zion Rakan's skin lacking key features. And then we see more um, comments on Reddit posts from uh, League of Legends Reddit's like, right, and Rakan and Zion are not getting a joint recall again. Um, and the reason for that is, and this is the second time they didn't get a joint recall. If you guys don't know, Arcana, Zion, Rakan didn't get a joint recall. And that was like, what, a year ago or something? Um, so let's let's talk about what Riot had said officially. Um, so in Maddie's video, there was a lot of disappointing uh, comments. But I want to get to D, uh, what this Riot pers uh, employee said, Riot uh, Platypus. Um, he said, I want to address the feedback that we also received during the Arcana skins release during, uh, regarding dual recalls, which is starting to be brought up again now. The skins team production leadership has analyzed both the feedback and data we get from live servers, and they have found that pick rate for Zaya and Rakan to be in the same team is fairly low, as well as them both using the same skin line within the same game is almost accidental. Due to that, the skins team production, <coughs> excuse me, leadership has agreed that unique dual recalls within a specific skin line is a feature that we will not be carrying. We will not be carrying over to the future Zion Recon skins. Let's talk about it. This is stupid. You want to know why? Six months ago in Wild Drift, and I mostly am a Wild Drift channel, but you know, PC, right? When the Redeem Zaya and Rakan came out, they had a custom recall. And when we're gonna, and if we're gonna get the Star Guardian, Seraphine, Redeem Star Guardian, Zaya, and Rakan in PC, they're gonna get a dual recall. If they don't, and this post is counted towards them, and it was removed, that is stupid. Why are you gonna remove a feature that wasn't even necessary to be removed? It's like saying like, oh, we got a new Seraphine skin. Okay, we're going to just use her default in in every epic skin. Like, what? That is crazy. <laughs> just, why can't you just keep it? There was some more comments from Riot Bright Moon saying, jumping in to give you more content because he goes angry when he says that the skin team is lazy and in brackets he say they aren't. They are. They are. Because the, the stupidest thing is, it takes a lot of work blending animations from two champs that could come together at any point during a recall. Girl, it's your job. If you've been in this company, if you've been in this working environment for years, you should be aware of your skill set and your assets. Why were you hired then? Why were you hired if you're gonna get re if you're gonna remove the feature anyway? And he said that we also didn't know if players would care or use it too much. Girl, the little details, that's what's important. Why are you, what? Why are you removing little features like that? You know, if you've if you've seen like games in beta or something, and then they change a lot of stuff, there's a lot of quality of life changes that are welcomed that players didn't ask, but it is necessarily needed. You know, and the the kicker in this uh, comment is many years later that it is clear that only a very small fraction of players use the joint recall with the same skin when Zion and Rakan are on the same team. And the, the annoying part of this is we try not to make the, um, he said, he said, we either continue doing it or put the effort into something that will be more meaningful for more players. We try not to make those trade-offs because it always sucks for some group of players, but we do have to make uh, them sometimes because we have limited time and resources to do everything. We can do better sharing the trade-offs with you. 
like what they did with less champs, more game modes. Stupid. That part is stupid. Because why are you relating champions and gameplays modes with skins? You have to g you have to give something better with skins, something cosmetic, something something that's valuable for players, etc. But that's highly unlikely because the Zion Recon feature was already built in. It's already built in with the system when you made it. Why are you removing something when you already developed it in the first place? So the this phrase, but we're not making them because we're lazy and don't care. And I really don't want this team to stop talking, uh, stop taking chances on things like a shared recall because they're worried they will set a precedent that will keep them forever bind them. When you made the champion, you already bind yourself from that, you know. And if you want to be original and creative, why are you removing the shared recall? And you're saying you're not lazy? What? And he said that at the the last paragraph, but also keep telling us what trade-offs are okay with you and which aren't. That does help us the info we need beyond statistics. And we are listening. Girl, you're not listening. What trade-off? So why do you need a trade-off? Why do you need a trade-off? You're a company that makes money. Are you an economic student? Like, why are you making trade-offs on stuff that isn't necessarily needed? If you want to keep making more income, then why are you risking it by removing stuff? Don't. Like, this also happened with the, the game modes, those rotating game modes. There isn't original game modes that are limited. You know, we're not going to get stuff like Odyssey. Or like those stuff of gameplays like that. Um, it's pretty stupid. Um, that is stupid from Riot to be honest. Because it's it's their fault anyways. Someone on Reddit said, truly a sad day. Also pick rate is low because they had to nerf the duo into the ground. So they weren't objectively better than every other duo lane. That is true. Even if they were nerfed, people are still going to play the champion because they're either a one-trick or they just love the champion. Or it's people's thing. Like, it's people's thing to go Zion Rakan. Like, you know, it's not about just <clears throat> being broken, you know? So, it is very stupid. And the biggest thing is the fact that Wild Rift, uh, Redeem Star Garden, Zion Rakan, who are somewhat of a recolor, like a chrome, mythic chroma, got different voice lines, um, a different recall animations and different recalls themselves individually and i and i know what you're thinking riot uh leak pc and wild Rift are different teams but they're the same company and when you're in the same company it you go back and forth with ideas that could reflect it what about the new game that new game mode that riot is talking about the 2v2v2 v2, v2 they got that from tft and they were talking about augments and stuff girl that's tft like be for real that's just stupid um, yeah, that's just what I want to talk about it. I think this will change a lot because you're saying you're not lazy, right, skin team, but you are. You are, you know. And it really shows that which employee shows the more effort towards the skins. Like, for example, the Winter Bless skins were pretty underrated, but the effort in those skins were great. Mythmaker Aurelia? No. No. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, leave your comments on what do you think of this drama-rama. You know, I'm kind of sc scared for the future of 2023 for skins. And Riot did say they have a big budget. Well, bitch, show your big budget. If you're too lazy to blend animations and you're getting paid the same amount, at least put some effort into your skins. If that's just some other bullcrap. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this um, rant. Um, leave your comments down below on like your thoughts about it. Um, name some lazy things that Riot has done in older skins because I can literally name them some. Because I am a skins channel, Wild Rift wise, and trust me, PC, they're not safe as well. There is some laziness going there too. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.